Welcome to the global defense battle. The Akash surface-to-air missile is an indigenously developed defense system by India, designed to protect against enemy aircraft, drones, and cruise missiles. Its development started in the late 1980s under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, aiming to strengthen India's air defense network. It was officially inducted into the Indian Armed Forces in 2009. This missile system plays a vital role in defending strategic locations and ensuring the safety of critical installations, especially against low-flying aerial threats. On the other hand, the HQ-16 missile, developed by China, is a medium-range surface-to-air missile system known for its advanced guidance technology. It was introduced to the People's Liberation Army in 2011 as part of China's efforts to modernize its air defense systems. The HQ-16 combines features from Russian and Chinese missile technologies, making it suitable for countering a wide range of aerial threats like aircraft and precision-guided munitions. In today's we will compare both of these missile systems, India's Akash versus China's HQ-16 missile system. So, let's start. Talking about the design first, the Akash surface-to-air missile features a design reminiscent of the Russian 2K-12 Cub system. It incorporates four long tube ramjet inlet ducts mounted mid-body between the wings, which aid in air intake for propulsion. For pitch and yaw control, the missile is equipped with four clipped triangular moving wings situated at the mid-body. Additionally, for inline clipped delta fins with ailerons are mounted before the tail to manage roll control. In terms of dimensions, the Akash missile measures approximately 5.78 meters in length, has a diameter of 35 centimeters, and weighs around 720 kilograms. In contrast, the HQ-16 missile exhibits a design influenced by the Russian book missile system. It is equipped with cruciform wings and control surfaces that provide stability and maneuverability during flight. The missile's dimensions include a length of about 5 meters, a diameter of 0.34 meters, and a weight of approximately 615 kilograms. These design elements contribute to the HQ-16's aerodynamic efficiency and its capability to engage various aerial targets effectively. Overall, both the missiles are designed with specific aerodynamic features tailored to their operational requirements. Talking about the propulsion and performance, the Akash employs a two-stage propulsion system. Initially, a solid fuel booster accelerates the missile during launch. Subsequently, a ramjet rocket sustainer motor maintains supersonic speeds throughout its flight. This propulsion design enables the Akash to achieve speeds ranging from Mach 2.8 to 3.5. The missile has an operational range of approximately 25 kilometers and can engage targets at altitudes up to 20 kilometers. In contrast, the HQ-16 missile utilizes a single-stage solid-fuel rocket motor for propulsion. This configuration allows the missile to reach speeds up to Mach 3. The HQ-16A variant has a maximum range of 40 kilometers and can engage targets at altitudes up to 18 kilometers. The improved HQ-16B variant extends the range to approximately 70 kilometers and can target threats at altitudes between 21 to 25 kilometers. Regarding warhead capacity, the Akash is equipped with a 60-kilogram high-explosive, pre-fragmented warhead designed to effectively neutralize aerial targets. This warhead is coupled with a digital proximity fuse, ensuring detonation occurs at the optimal distance from the target to maximize damage. While the Akash missile is primarily configured with a conventional warhead, it has the capability to carry a nuclear warhead. However, specific details regarding the nuclear yield are not publicly disclosed. The missile is designed to carry a single warhead and does not support multiple warheads. The effective destruction radius of the Akash missile's warhead is not explicitly stated in available sources. In comparison, the HQ-16 missile carries a 70-kilogram high-explosive fragmentation warhead. This warhead is also equipped with a proximity fuse, allowing it to detonate near the target to inflict maximum damage. The HQ-16 is designed solely for conventional warfare and does not have the capability to carry nuclear warheads. Similar to the Akash, the HQ-16 is designed to carry a single warhead and does not support multiple warheads. Specific information regarding the destruction radius of the HQ-16's warhead is not readily available in public sources. Coming to the guidance and accuracy, the Akash employs a command guidance system, where the missile receives continuous instructions from a ground-based radar throughout its flight. This method allows for real-time adjustments, enabling the missile to effectively track and engage moving targets. The Akash missile is capable of maneuvering during flight, utilizing its aerodynamic control surfaces to adjust its trajectory based on the guidance commands received. Specific data regarding its circular error probable, which measures accuracy, is not publicly disclosed. In contrast, the HQ-16 missile utilizes a semi-active radar homing guidance system. In this system, the missile homes in on radar signals reflected from the target which are illuminated by a ground-based radar. This guidance method allows the missile to adjust its flight path during engagement, enhancing its accuracy against maneuvering targets. 
The HQ-16 is designed to be maneuverable during flight, employing control surfaces to alter its trajectory as needed. Similar to the Akash, specific information about the HQ-16 CEP is not readily available in public sources. Talking about the launch platforms, the Akash surface-to-air missile system is designed for flexibility and mobility, capable of being launched from both static and mobile platforms, including battle tanks and wheel trucks. This adaptability allows for rapid deployment and repositioning to protect various assets. The system is fully mobile and can protect moving convoys of vehicles. The Akash system can be deployed by rail, road, or air, enhancing its operational versatility. In contrast, the HQ-16 missile system is also designed for mobility, utilizing road mobile launch vehicles. Each launch vehicle is typically mounted on a six into six wheel truck, providing the system with the ability to be quickly relocated as operational needs dictate. The HQ-16 system is capable of engaging aerial targets at high altitudes and can intercept very low flying targets at distances up to about 40 kilometers. Speaking about stealth features, the Akash missile system does not incorporate stealth features in its design. However, it is equipped with built-in electronic counter countermeasures to counteract electronic jamming and ensure reliable performance in contested environments. Similarly, the HQ-16 missile system lacks inherent stealth characteristics. Its design focuses on effective target engagement through semi-active radar homing guidance and mobility. There is no publicly available information indicating the inclusion of stealth features in the HQ-16 system. Overall, Neither the Akash nor the HQ-16 missile systems incorporate stealth features in their designs. Both systems rely on their guidance technologies and countermeasure capabilities to effectively engage and neutralize aerial threats. Regarding cost, the Akash missile system was developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization with a total development cost of approximately $200 million. This cost includes the initial project sanction of around $120 million. The development expenditure is reported to be 8 to 10 times lower than that of similar systems developed in other countries. Specific details regarding the production cost per missile and maintenance expenses are not publicly disclosed. However, the Indian military's combined orders for the Akash system, including radar systems, are valued at approximately $4 billion. In contrast, detailed information about the development, production, and maintenance costs of China's HQ-16 missile system is not readily available in public sources. It developed with assistance from Russia's Almazanti Corporation is a medium-range surface-to-air missile system, while specific financial figures are not disclosed. The Akash has been actively integrated into India's defense forces. The Indian Air Force operates 11 squadrons, each comprising eight launchers, with an additional four squadrons in the pipeline. In September 2019, Bharat Dynamics Limited secured a contract valued at approximately $752 million to supply seven Akash missile squadrons to the IAF. In December 2020, the Indian government approved the export of the Akash missile system. Subsequently, in November 2024, India dispatched the first Akash missile battery for export to a friendly foreign country, marking the system's entry into the international defense market. Regarding the HQ-16 missile system, China has deployed approximately 250 units of the HQ-16A and HQ-16B variants within its People's Liberation Army ground force. The system has also been exported, notably to Pakistan, where it is designated as the LY-80. In March 2017, the Pakistan Army inducted the LY-80 into its arsenal, enhancing its medium-range air defense capabilities. Specific figures regarding the number of HQ-16 missiles currently under production or exported beyond Pakistan are not publicly disclosed. In summary, the Akash and HQ-16 missile represent the air defense capabilities of India and China, tailored to their specific strategic needs. Both missiles serve as vital components of their respective nations' defense networks, reflecting the growing technological advancements in air defense systems. Which missile system do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.